So this is what we got going on. <clears throat> Finally, I depinned uh, this one here. So this is the uh, this is a 12 volt switched. Um, this is an actual uh, hot all the time, which is why it's red. Yellow is generally uh, switched. So just tested it by putting, you know, reconnecting that the ground to the battery, and then uh, testing voltage with the car off, and then just putting it to uh, on and show 12 volts, whereas the red showed 12 volts all the time. I've got my two wires ready, um, and then I'll be doing my switches, but what I'm going to do, instead of, usually I'll cut and then splice in a butt connector with these, I'm just going to uh, basically do the window. That's where you, I'll just uh, make an incision here, remove this uh, insulation, um, open it up a bit, and then I'll put the wires in. Um, I'm not going to solder, but I'll use um, zip ties on the back side, and that'll make sure they don't move. But I'll see. I don't know if I'll be able to do it while recording so you can see. Maybe if we zoom in, you might be able to see. All right, so wire strippers again. It's probably not going to work. All right. show you. Again, make sure you have the car off even though there's no power, but you don't need wire strippers for this. It does help because it does cut around the outer diameter of it instead of having to use a razor blade and somehow doing that. So then I just come in with my little, this is actually for tinning, uh, but I use it all the time. It works really well. Also when you're deep pinning connectors you're gonna want a little flathead. And then what I do is I ground it. You can see where it's shining. See that's not going to focus in, but anyways, that'll allow you to get up under there. Um, on these connectors, the clip is facing forward, not on the back side. Uh, so you push the wire towards you, then use your flathead uh, to insert it and press up on the clip, and then you're able to pull the wire out. So now that I have my little window here, I'll do. Again, I don't know if you can see this, so I'll take this flathead screwdriver and kind of wedge it in there. And then that'll make a space between the wire. So you can kind of see that hole right there. So technically I could just use, if I wanted to, hook these two wires up to this and then when the car is on, um, they provide power. But again, I'm going to run a switch. So I'm going to hold off on these because i got to get the switch ready. Wire in two wires that will go to the switch and this will go to the other side of the switch. So again, um, once I've got 12 volt power, power will go to the back side of the switch. And then it won't go through it until you know you switch on. And then it will send the voltage to these, which will go to the relay. And then we'll have um, our stuff operating. All right. Well, I think I definitely came out on top on this one, so I didn't have to destroy that. So I'll be able to still check uh, where my fuses are. Looks really good. I didn't scratch the front of it. I was able to use my Dremel. 
Get them on there pretty sweet. Got them both lined up. So I didn't change uh, change color of the wires, which I usually do. Um, I just made them red this time. So what I'll do just to double check to see which wire I'm going to use for what um, is I'll just do a continuity check. Um, that'll just basically let me trace the wire back to the front of the vehicle. And then I'll just do it one at a time. I'll just do left and right or whatever um, for the uh, for the fan and then for the lights. And then uh, be good to go. And again, just always double check uh, your um, any kind of wiring you're doing just to make sure you didn't actually cross something or short something out. Um, Continuity is pretty easy. Uh, if you are shorting it out somewhere, though, it's not gonna it's not gonna tell you that because you're still gonna be having a solid piece of wire. But it can at least tell you which wire is which. Um, and then you always want to do that with power off. Uh, so don't forget that. But looks good. I'll be able to tighten some things up back here or underneath here, and then get this all cleaned up. And then uh, hopefully the next uh, look will be getting it getting it switched on. Alright, looks like that's going to be a wrap. So, I've got it on uh, accessory right now. Lights. Fan, I don't know if you can hear it. I'll just tack AC, or uh, on. Shut up. Again. Lights. on fire. I'll just be able to stick these bad boys down like that. Close it up. And I'm going to have to get these repositioned because that's freaking terrible. Oh yeah.